Hi everyone, it's Nat here. Hope you're all doing well. So the Christmas break is over, which means I'm back at the bookstore, which means it's Friday night book haul. So I do have a few bags to show you. So when I got to the bookstore, there were so many books in the recycling. Um, we must have had a lot of donations. Um, I suppose a lot of people do cleaning out over the Christmas break. And therefore, you know, we can only fit so many books in, so there were a lot in the recycling. However, um, the organisation that runs the bookshop is a charity organisation and it has a new member who is a doctor from the Congo. So he actually ships containers of supplies over to the Congo where he has um, built some facilities and that for the people over there, um, which is so lovely. And he wanted some of the books. So he wanted some non-fiction books. So I decided to go through and sort all the recycling and find some of the, you know, good quality non-fiction books that might be appropriate to send over. So we weren't quite sure exactly what he would like, but I chucked as much as I could over for boxes for him. And he come and he took all of them and then went through all the ones that were heading for the recycling and took a whole heap of them as well, which was so good to see. So we're thinking that might be a regular thing, which is awesome. So, so satisfying to see a whole lot of them go somewhere where they're needed and will be appreciated. So most of the books I've got here are ones that I thought were a bit old and not in the best condition and we weren't sure if they'd want certain ones and that. So I'll show you what I ended up grabbing. So this one is Wintertime Ideals. I've never seen these ones before and there were a few of them but they look very vintage like on the inside. I'm not sure if they are but they look at 1963 so yeah quite vintage really. And I thought these were great and they've got a really nice texture as well. Oh yeah, they're really cool. It's got some poems in there. Is it all poems? Great illustrations. So yeah, I collected most of the um, gardening books, uh, first aid books. Um, cooking books. Um, we even raided the shelves inside for a whole lot of kids books to send over. So that was really good. Of course, I mean, you know, if we could do it, we would as well. Um, but, you know, the shipping costs would be huge to do that sort of thing. So it's so good that um, uh, that lovely man is able to do that. So this is Better Homes and Gardens Flower Arranging. I love the cover of that. Purple and green journal, I reckon, for that. 1957, this one. Very retro. So I don't know how many books I moved today, but it was a lot. <laughs> Good exercise. Another Better Homes and Gardens house plants. They look so new on this page. So this is 59, this one. So they're in very, very good condition for how old they are. <laughs> Love it. So I hope you're all well and going okay with everything. I know that here in Australia, um, I think we've got three states now um, that are having a bit of trouble with COVID. So just keeping fingers crossed that we can keep it under control. So wishing everyone in those areas lots of love and let's just craft through it all. Uh, Thanksgiving ideals. I thought it was ideas, but no, it's ideals. Look at that page. How pretty. So I've got a lot of crafting to do this weekend. I've, you know, trying to organise myself and do my challenges on weekends. So I've got um, 
in our group, Paper Possibilities Crazy Crafters, the lovely Cell is, has put up an altered playing card challenge. So some people have already got that one done. So that's fun. And then we've got a Tag House challenge. And then I've got to do the um, seasonal collage journal. I've got to do December and January to catch up with that. And then in the, now it used to be uh, Crafty Vera and Friends group. The name's been changed there to uh, Our Crafty Tribe. So in that group, I've also got a challenge for a scrapbooking page, but it can be done on sort of any format you want, whether you want to do it on a canvas or um, a 12 by 12 or a 6 by 6 or, you know, whatever, in a journal. So that's going to be interesting too. And I pull out some different prompts for that one to follow. So I sort of choose two themes, um, a colour and a couple of like ideas or techniques as well. Now I've showed you that one. I think I showed you that one. I should stop talking and start thinking. This one is Flower Power. A new approach to flower arranging. Oh, I think this is one that I wasn't sure whether they would want this sort of one, so I put it in my bag. But then now I realise after seeing how many he took that he prob they probably would have taken this one. But I think it was this one because it had sunflowers. I think it was this one that had sunflowers. The pictures are really lovely. Maybe I saw that page and thought it was sunflowers. And now it's Golden Hands New Guide, a sequel to Golden Hands. a lovely page on the back. Almost make a nice cover. Close-ups in colour. I think there was just one or two photos in this one that I really liked. A butterfly or a bee or something I think it was. It might be that wasp. Is that a wasp? Yeah, a European wasp. Oh, that's nice too. New idea, something different cookbook. I don't know if that has the date on it. Formed bits. Does this have the date on it? October the 13th. Hey, prawns and jelly. That's what it looks like. What else have we got in this bag? Instruction manual for ribbing attachment. A knitting thing, machine, I think it is. I don't know if I'll use this or not. It is a bit glossy, but we will see. I grabbed it anyway. Pears Encyclopedia of Gardening, Flowers, Trees and sh Shrubs. I was going to say shrubs then been saying everything wrong today. 72. It's very aged. Um, it's mainly, I don't know if it has, oh, it has a couple of pictures in the middle, but it's mainly just your text. But I do like, when I'm making garden journal, I do like to use text pages with gardening blurb on them for my tags and that sort of thing in keeping with the theme. Some really boring black and whites. 
Oh, it looks like it's got some illustrations as well. Not many today. I'm at my mixed media desk at the moment because I have a journal in progress on my crafting desk. All about budgery gars. Looks quite old, this one. Gifted in 56. I love budgies. I must get one soon. Thinking if I get a budget, it might stop me wanting a dog so much. Oh, look, there's some paper cutouts. I think that's paper cutout, and I think that's the actual book there. And some adverts there. They're really cool. And some more cutouts. Are they stuck on? As he ruined my advert by sticking them on. Like how I called it a he. <laughs> that is really bad of me. <laughs> I love that a budgie. Probably going to bite the dog on the nose. And the cat with some budgies. I've got so much character. So I think these are all black and whites. Whatever's in here, but that's all right. They're still really cute. And again, I like the pages for my bird themed journals. The Marx Brothers scrapbook. I don't know what to expect with this one. 75. Oh, it's got lots of photos of them. I just saw sort of vintage photos and thought, yeah, that's cool. Oh, that's a pretty cool way they add. different bits and pieces that I can make some ephemera with. I just saw a scrapbook and thought, oh, yeah, that might have some good stuff in it. There's something I saw here. Oh, yeah, there's lots of cool stuff. Magic organ sounds. So lots and lots of sheet music and other bits and pieces. I was, yeah, when I had a look, there was heaps of music being discarded. So I thought, yep, I can use that. So that's huge. And I think I collected a whole pile last time. They um, threw some out too. So I've got a whole lot to go through and make some bits and pieces with. Lucille Ball in Wildcat. Oh, there she is. So I almost finished my first bag. Complete Australian Gardener and some cardboard. look like that has a date on it. Not very retro. One would think 50s, 50s, 60s for this one. Australia, the wild continent. I might just take the dust cover off because it annoys me. It's a huge book. The picture's gorgeous. A bit big to do too much with, but I just love that one. Might have to cut them down a bit. Make some envelopes even. Where I think, yeah, some smaller pictures. I just love that bad picture. And the plants.
Beautiful pictures. Now, this might be oh, some of the music books that I found. So we've got singing and listening for senior primary grades. I don't think I recognise. Oh, I do recognise the little red caboose. Someone's been drawing in it. The mermaid. That'll be nice for a mermaid's journal, maybe. Good King Wenceslas. Is that all Christmas? No. Looks quite old, though, this one. Song folio. Great American movie songbook. Seeing if I know any of them. No. No. New York, New York. I do know that one. Tiptoe through the tulips. Another one of these ones. Do a quick flick because I've seen one like that. Berg Muller. Muller. Nice. Apache. I like that. Albert's Old Time and New Vogue Dance Album. I used to do old time dancing. And a bit of New Vogue. And Latin American. Back in the old days when I was fitting and I can fit into my dresses. Book with words. 1001 hit songs. I don't think so. Doesn't quite seem big enough. No, it's got different volumes. It's a long way to Tipperary. All right. It's like another little music book. This one looks really cute. 1912. It says copyright 1912 in USA, copyright for all countries. It's a pretty good nick for all that age. My book of Bible stories. And this just has really sweet pictures in it. Not sweet, actually, maybe not sweet. I haven't seen anything sweet yet. <laughs> that one's nice. <laughs> Sewing in colour. It's quite tattered. Otherwise, nice and retro by the looks. Um, 71. Cool purple pictures. I like that. Oh, and green ones. The colour pictures are nice too. That'll make some good ephemera for sewing journals. Home handicrafts. Probably 
probably go with all of my golden hands books that I need to cut up and just want to cut them up and make some retro journals for anyone who might be interested. Retro crafty journals. Alright, now we're on to our third bag. Now this is my one purchase for the day. It's Birds of Southeastern Australia. I saw it and grabbed it for myself. Unfortunately, it's missing one of the books, number six. And then I thought, well, I do know someone in my family who loves their birds and might actually like this instead. So I will show it to them first before I go ripping it up. Um, although I'm not sure if they'll like the style of pictures in it. But what do we have? We have fa farmlands, dry country, inland waters, oceans, bays and beaches, the ranges and urban areas. So that's a really cool set. And being just like for South Eastern Australia is really cool as well. But yeah, the illustrations aren't, you know, sort of lifelike or anything. The colours are possibly a bit off too. So we will see what they think. If not, I will keep it because the pages are beautiful. So yeah, they're going to be great. Or oh, cockatiel. I like the colours around the pages as well. They're pretty neat. I haven't seen a set like this before. Put them back in their box so I don't lose them. This is the Shell and BP Guide to Britain, 66. So this has a lot of the old style photos that I use, like the ones I use to make my postcards, faux postcards. So I thought, you know, I looked and I thought, I don't really like the pictures. And it was like, you cannot pass up making more, as if I haven't got enough books here to make a thousand, 10,000 <laughs> vintage postcards, but they're pretty easy and fun to make. So why not? And look, I even got another bookmark to go with my 10,000 bookmarks. Oh, that's the join to the book. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So nice and matte pages as well, except for these. These are glossy. So we'll have to have a mass making day sometime, just making a whole heap of postcards. This is called Precious Earth Journal. And it's a nice craft colour, 95. And it's just a journal. So lots of places to write. And some pictures and positive sayings, which I might, I don't know, I might cut out because <laughs> I don't like too many positive sayings. Oh, I like that one though. The earth doesn't belong to man. Man belongs to the earth. Yeah, I'd keep that one. Oh, I can't shut the thing. There were probably heaps of these, but I couldn't really because there were so many books and we were trying to sort them and I couldn't really spend all my time <laughs> looking through every book for them. I hate that because I want to check every book for them. <laughs> got a bit of a thing about that. I've got heaps of them too and I can't like, I find it so hard to use them because one day there won't be any. <laughs> so this is easy Vietnamese. Um, so it's a Vietnamese learning book, but... I thought I'd grab it because I'd rather have ones that are just the pure text in Vietnamese, but I don't have much 
of Vietnamese writing and that, so I thought I would grab it. This one, I haven't looked in it, but it looks really cool. The size is awesome. Um, the Observer's Book of Cacti and Succulent. I love cacti and succulents, so I really do want to make some journals around them sometimes, so I'm getting a bit of a collection. The size of these pages are cool. Um, let's have a look. 59, so it is pretty old. And it's got colour color pages as well, or pictures, I should say. And they're really nice. They'll make some really cool journaling cards to slip into pockets. So let's see what the cover's like. It's not in too bad a nick to be reused either. And it's such a lovely little size for a little mini journal sometimes. I like this dust cover as well. Another one on cacti and succulents. This one is 53. I love it. It's got the illustrations. Nice and coloured. Now this looks like a nice cover, this one. And it's a Roger Theosaurus. A thesaurus. As if I haven't got enough of them too, but that cover is really nice. So I'll probably reuse the cover. Nineteen thirty-four. It's got in the front of it. This has nineteen twenty-five on it. Authorized copyright edition. New edition, 1925. Jeez, yes, that's probably the oldest one I've got. Might even keep this one for a while. Lovely old book. Oh, birds. A little guide in colour. I haven't even looked in this one. I'm excited. I was just making sure that was the same book. <laughs> Painting boats. Use that for something. So this looks really cool. 1965. They are really nice pictures. Beautiful size, nice and matte. And it's already falling apart, which is what we love because then we don't feel guilty sort of gotten over the guilty feeling when I do break something up and I make a journal or something I just think that uh, journals look beautiful and it's such a way to um like preserve and treasure in a new light um the pages I rip these out of some book because I didn't want the book but I love the writing I think it says Mel Marshall and I quite like that page I could spend all day going through all the books and just ripping out, you know, the nice pages. <laughs> Which I'll have to do sometime here, that's for sure. This is Teach Yourself to Draw. Which my son was doing, but he seems to have stopped. I'm going to have to prompt him to get back into it. 1942 for this one. Not much in it, but it does have a few. I might even, like, a lot of these books, when I get them, I put them in. I've got a bookcase just for craft books. I put them in there because I think I might like to go through them and read them and look at them sometime myself and give things a go. Sometimes the old ones are the best ones, too. Explanatory French Grammar. 1941. It's almost like a French, oh, it's got the exercises and then a vocabulary in the back. Be nice for the French themed journals. Medical Diction and Health Manual. It's 
62. So it's got tables, words, what do you call that? Illustrations. Yeah, I kind of like the way this is. So that'd be cool for some medical journals. Oh, this is lovely. Wildlife in Australia Illustrated and it's got an embossed cover if you can see it. It's got a border and then it's got a kangaroo and fern, which is really nice. I might try and, because I should be able to do something like that, just cut that out with my craft knife and use it to make some something. I actually think I might have a set of these somewhere. Yeah, I remember cutting, cutting them down. I think I've got some of these when I first started collecting for journals. Black and whites, but they're still really cool. Glossy. Oh, that's right, they do have a few really nice ones. few bits of that bag. So another library card. Um, this is a map, yeah, it's a map of British Columbia. Another bit, oh, another bookmark. New song in an old land. This is 36. Just got songs. Oh, and they're like Australian ones, Bushman songs, things like that. Another bookmark bit. Yes, the Daring Book for Girls. Usually I thought these were quite old, but this one looks really new. For every girl with an independent spirit and nose for trouble, here is the No Boys Allowed Guide to Adventure. I must make that into, it's quite big, so maybe a glue book. That'd be fun. Beautiful cover. I know it's here somewhere. First edition, 2007. All sorts of different information in these. Watercolour painting, something about boys, roller skating. Should send that to my daughter. <laughs> my daughter is 26 and she just told me today that she just bought some roller skates and a helmet and knee pads, but the roller skates came without the helmet and knee pads, so she's still waiting for those. And I was going to lecture her about don't go on them until you've got your helmet, and then I remembered myself when I was 11 or 12, you know, going down the road full speed, no helmet, no knee pads or anything, lots of gutses, lots of scraped elbows and knees, so... A bit of fun stuff in it to use and even though it's really new the pages aren't you know they're matte and they're cream which is nice not too bright now what do i have in this one? let's have a look i think it might be mostly music books but i did find this at the end of the day richard's topical encyclopedia social studies Nineteen fifty-eight. Glossy, which I don't really like, but I'm not gonna pass it up, that's for sure. Some nice vintage photos. Might have to make some glossy postcards. I like 
that with the wolf. in here. Oh, I bought some more Ziplocs. <laughs> I found um, when I buy, sometimes when I buy scrapbook papers or whatever, they'll come in your really big Ziplocs or whatever. I couldn't find the ones that were the right size, although this might be what they use. They're 33 by 38. I thought that sounds big enough to store. I've got just a few scrapbook papers left and I want a bag, so... And then my large ones, which I've been using for my paper, um, A4s and that here. Um, and then Wally's had a sale on Sharpies, and I saw these the other days and didn't get them. But then I came home and regretted it for a week. So, and they're metallics. So you can write on black, apparently, with them, and they'll show up. And I've been using my gold and silver metallic textures quite a bit lately. So I thought that's great, because it's got green and red and that. Okay, so it does look like, so what I'm going to do is grab these out in a big pile and I won't actually turn the pages, but I'll probably just do a quick flick of what I've got. Another library card. I wish I could save all the library cards. I should ask all the workers there, could you please take out any library cards for me? I probably should, you know. No one else wants them. A Norwegian Cradle Song. So that looks really cool. This is, I don't know, it's a magazine. It might be a gardening magazine. It's all right, I'll go through it and have a look. Um, oh, this is the Earth Garden book. Self-sufficiency in Australia. I think I just like that it had vintage pictures and that sort of thing. So I'll go through and have a look. I thought it was all music, but it's not. Is this a dust cover? No, it's a little booklet and it is 60 exciting rice recipes. And I just like how vintage and retro it is. This is how to use the knitting machine and knitting manual. I might have to do a specific knitting journal one day. Oh, the journals I'm going to make in my dreams. Irving Berlin, favourite film songs, the best of Broadway, and that is huge. Some pictures in it. Oh, it's another one of that 1001. It's probably a volume, a different volume of it. David Bowie. Oh. I wonder what songs that has. Starman, I might have to keep it. I do have a keyboard, which I never play because I can't. Um, but I have sent it off to my daughter. Rebel, rebel. Oh, Let's Dance. I do like that one. Jean Genie. Hmm. All Time Greats. It's Songs from Italy. Say good night to the sleep. I didn't grab this one <laughs> on purpose. I was hiding. Yeah. <laughs> this is playing together piano duets, my fair lady. Famous songs. Kumbaya. Prisoner. Oh, it's the love theme from Ooh. the love theme from Prisoner from Memory. It was a long time ago. I think I really, really like that song. And on the inside, so that that's going to be a keeper. Oh my! Any time I was going to say, all my time. Santa Lucia, Lucia, whatever you say. Wind in the Willows. Tennessee Waltz. Now, this is Stonyfield Wines. 
the recipe book for Stony for wines. So it might go in a wine theme journal, not sure. Uh, keep it a secret. If I loved you, yes, I know they're upside down. Sorry. Tell tell it on the mountain. Games that lovers play. Walk into Missouri. Autumn leaves from memory. I like that one too. A town like Alice. The shifting whispering sands. Don't be cross. Maria Alina, you can't be true, dear. Say, Cece, I'm going to knock on your door. Love makes the world go round. I told them about you. The Dicky Bird Hop. That's interesting. It's quite old. 1926. Theme from the Warsaw Concerto, Cathedral on the Pines, Young Love. I love the backs of some of these. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. I have to check the copyright on a lot of them. Sorrow in the Treetop. Back Home in Tennessee. That's a beautiful cover. That's very old. edition. No, I can't see a date. Spring song. Oh look, Do Re Mi from The Sound of Music. That is classic, isn't it? That is beautiful. Kiss Me Kate. The Tender Trap. Garden Party. I'm just reading them out because I'm sure there's a few of you that were going, oh, I know that. Um, Tchaikovsky's Concerto Number no. 1. Love the cover on that as well. Swanee River, Oklahoma, Nobody Knows the Trouble of Scene, High Lily, High Low, High Lily, High Low. Just Walking in the Rain, Who's Sorry Now, Takes Two to Tango, On the Street Where You Live. Puff the Magic Dragon. <laughs> that looks ancient. By Peter, Paul and Mary. They look young there. Mm. We've only just begun. Miller's daughter, Mary Ann. Oh, looks like recipe cards. They're really cool too. Great ephemera. 100 birds of Laratinga wetlands. They're the wetlands near where I live. Actually, <laughs> I shouldn't show you this. Although, I suppose they're in a... I will say that one of my family members took a whole heap of the photos that are in this. <laughs> so I won't go and point them all out, but yeah. <laughs> It might happen to be the person who might like those bird books I was showing too. Uh, let us have music for piano. That's another volume, a couple of volumes of them, Thousand and One Songs. It looks like I might have most of the, yeah, all of the Thousand and One Songs. Tip a tin, tippy tin, that's the way you say it. More of them. A thousand and one songs. Midnight Cowboy and Return to Me. So, yay, I finished. So that's pretty cool. Heaps of music, which, you know, I don't think you can ever have too much of the music because it's always something that's really cool to whack into people's happy mails. And it's so good to craft with. So I think that's a pretty good lie, even though, you know, most of the books um, did go elsewhere. I'm really glad that they will get used and appreciated and there were obviously plenty of old broken down books that I could use in my crafting too so that was awesome so I hope you all have a wonderful weekend I have got to get on with all my challenges now I'm determined 
So take care, be good, and I will see you soon. Bye.